With the manufacturing industry having a huge potential for growth, the high cost of power and wages is making the industry to struggle. This is still a major concern, even as government promised early this year to make ends meet for the manufacturers. Katyn's Julia Wino has the details. Kenya's textile and manufacturing industry has been struggling to stay afloat for nearly the last seven years now. As of 2017, the industry's performance was at 6%. Majority of manufacturers have resorted to focus on cheap imports from international and regional markets, leaving local industries with minimal revenues. It's just because of the cost issue. We've not been able to grow the industry the way it should have been. Majority of manufacturers at EPZ are pleading with the government to level the business landscape by considering the wage increase and power costs as they are becoming untenable for the industry. The high cost of doing business has led to the Kenyan goods being less competitive compared to other goods from the Kenya's peers. When, it, when, you, when you raise wage uh, locally, the local manufacturers have the uh, privilege to increase the price because it affects everybody. In our case, when government increases any kind of cost, labor or whatever, then, uh, you know, the other countries have not increased that. Even as the industry negotiates with the government, the business owners have resorted to engage to run social investment projects. The projects have since then engaged the operators and buyers around the community. Uh, agreed with President and C.S. Adam that uh, we would uh, transform the second-hand clothing, not that's why, you know, by giving those kind of pricing. So we started with the super sales where other manufacturers, also EPZ manufacturers, have been participating. And uh, in that, we had all committed that we'll sell between 100 to 600 shillings. Businesses are likely to leave Kenya, where production costs are not prohibited. Julie Owino. KTN News.